in this video we are going to discuss a new and important topic that is percentage percentage it is most important topic for the arithmetic why because it has an important and a key point of the other scope of the chapters scope of the questions are comes from sale and percentage and uh, profit and losses and useful to interests like simple interest and compound interest and another topics i know of aptitude like number systems and allegation reduction in cost and population based chapters it is so important chapter okay percent percent or we can call it as per 100 100 or we we write as or 100 okay by 100 <coughs> in this uh, chapter we have an equation a percentage of b is equal to the b percentage of a okay it is most important and uh, remember this equation okay we write a percentage of 100 into b it is simply b percentage of a <coughs> next we have to discuss the key role and key point of percentages that is fractions of the percentages are fractions to percentages percentage next key point of this chapter is fractions to percentage okay that is for example take one unit as 100 one we can write as 1 by 100 next fraction will be 1 by 2 that is 50 or 50 percentage 100 percentage okay 1 by 3 you can write as 33.33 percentage you have to remember these basics these basics of simple fractions of and conversion to the percentage okay from these three important aspects we can uh, grasp more more fractions to percentage more topics of percentage okay next 1 by 4 1 by 4 we can write it as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 or sorry from these we get another one to by third is it right leg by third simply we can write the answer 66 percent next fraction is 1 by 4 
1 by 4 we can write as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 is we know 50 percentage by 2 in arithmetic 25 percentage okay next 1 by 5 1 by 5 is 20 percentage directly you can write 100 by 5 so from these we get 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 then 4 by 5 Simply 2 into 20 percentage and 3 into 20 percentage 4 into 20 percentage simply 40 percentage 60 percentage and 80 percentage then go for the next fraction conversion is 1 by 6 1 by 6 you can write as 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 we know 1 by 3 1 by 3 means 33.33 percentage by 2 so simply 16.67 percentage the next fraction from the 1 by 6 we get 2 by 6 now. 2 by 6 simply 1 by 3 so we know 1 by 3 and 5 by 6 5 by 6 means simply write 1 minus 1 by 6 means 100 minus 66 percent 1 means 100 100 minus 16.67 percent is simply directly write 83.33 percent 33 percent then go for the another percentage or another fraction for that is 1 by 7 this is most important fraction it is most important fraction and simple conversion it is a cyclic fraction this fraction is converted to the decimal or percentage as a cyclic number that is 1 4 2 8 5 7 you have to remember it 1 4 2 8 5 7 the 1 by 7 is fourteen point two eight five seven percentage then we want to two by seven two by seven we have to put a zero Seven to the fourteen. Seven to the fourteen. So seven to the then go for cyclic. 
then go for 3 by 7 4 by 7 and 5 by 7 then 6 by zero and do seven seven four the twenty eight seven four the twenty seven four the twenty eight so four two eight five seven one percentage say zero here seven five thirty four so right uh, seven five five seven and one four two eight percentage and also put zero here. And seven seven the so simply seven one point four two eight five percentage. And put zero here. Then write simply seven eight the fifty six so eight five point seven one four two percentage then go for next fraction that is one by eight. Simply 1 by 8, you can write as 1 by 2 into 1 by 4. So, 1 by we know 1 by 4. It is 25 by 2 equals to 12.5 percentage. percentage. Another important thing is 3 by 8. It is most important. Please remember it. it is most important. Simply we can write 3 into 12.5 percentage so that is 37.5 percentage next we go for 5 by 8 that is 5 12.5 percentage Two point five percent right value six and go for seven by eight simply one minus one by eight hundred minus twelve point five percent eighty seven point 
five percent. Then go for next percentage. Here is simple. That is one by nine and two by nine. Then three by nine. And four by nine up to eight by nine. Then one by eleven, two by eleven, three by eleven, four by eleven, up to ten by. Here yeah, directly we can write nine and eleven go together. It means the one by nine value is multiple of eleven. Then one by eleven is or eleven one by eleven two by eleven three by eleven. The value is multiple of So here we can write eleven four eleven eleven point eleven eleven and two by nine is the eleven is multiplied with two twenty two point two two percentage three by nine is the thirty three point three three Percentage, forty-four point four four percentage, and so on up to eighty-eight point eighty-eight percentage. Then go here, and uh, it is a multiple of nine. It means nine to the eighteen point. Uh, Eighteen percentage. Then go nine three zero twenty seven point two seven percentage. Nine four zero thirty six point thirty six point three six percentage. And up to ninety point nine zero percent. Here thing, there are two thing, two values which can take two values. Here are two values here. So here also we can take the two values zero nine and zero nine percentage. Don't take nine point nine. Go next fraction. Next one that is one by twelve. We know one by twelve. One by twelve means we can write a two zeros like this simply. And twelve eights are. Well, it's an eighty-six. Then three three percent. Or we can write uh, one by two into one by six percent. Yeah. Simply, these three three comes from add both two denominator digits. Then go for next percentage is one by. Seventeen. Same as the same concept, same phenomena. We can use same phenomena. Write two zeros. And how many times? Hundred uh, will go. Simply, we can write five. Five times. 
then add both digits 88% then go 1 by 13 then go for same concept write two zeros then write here the answer directly how many times 100 will go 7 times and approximately 7.77 you can write approximately approximate value then go for another fraction that is 1 by 80 1 by 80 and 1 by 19 1 by 20 1 by 21 we know 1 by 20 simply directly you can write 5 parts actually We write uh, then go deviation of plus two plus zero point two five percentage. Then go like this minus deviation of minus zero point two five percentage. Simply we write five point two five percentage. Then go 5.5 percent, .5%, 50 percent, and here 4.75 percent. Then go for the next fractions. One by two, three, four. One by twenty-four. 1 by 26, 1 by 27. We know 1 by 25 is the 4 percentage directly. We can write the deviation here. Deviation of plus 0.15, that is 9. is 4.15 percentage and deviation of minus 0 0.15 is 3.85 percentage and deviation of minus 0 0.15 percentage is 3.7 3.7 2.7 and a one other side like is right 1 by 27 is 3.7 percent and directly you can write as also 37 is also 2.7 Seven percentage, five percent. Now that together, then go for the another percentage is one by twenty three. Here deviation uh, simply take here from our 100 by 23 100 how many times four times and uh, point and denominators last digit is three denominator add both the digits of denominator and write last digit Simply like this, and 
last one is a 29 percentage and 100 by 29 is 3 times then go these are cyclic like or 4 5 percentage these are the most reasonable and important basics of percentages and many other topics you will for go for many other basics and useful for so much time reduced in the examinations so please you know, remember and practice it and you gonna rock with another concepts and chapters of automatic thank you for the watching our videos and please share and subscribe to our channel thank you